Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the advancements in text-to-image generation models and the challenges faced in accurately depicting images through language alone. Many studies aim to enhance controllable image generation by incorporating conditional controls like segmentation masks and depth maps. Despite various methods being explored, the primary goal remains to improve the accuracy and controllability of image generation using explicit image-based conditional controls. To achieve controllable image generation, one approach is to fine-tune pre-trained models or introduce trainable modules like ControlNet instead of retraining models from scratch due to computational constraints and limited large public datasets. However, existing studies still struggle to achieve precise and fine-grained control in generating images consistent with input conditions. To address this issue, we propose modeling image-based controllable generation as an image translation task inspired by CycleGon. By using pre-trained discriminative models to extract conditions from generated images and optimizing cycle consistency loss, we aim to improve controllability. The cycle consistency loss ensures that when translating images from one domain to another and back, we maintain consistency with the original conditions. Our method focuses on optimizing controllability at the pixel level rather than implicitly in the latent space, as seen in previous works. By introducing noise to training images to disrupt their consistency with input conditions and using single-step denoised images for efficient reward fine-tuning, we aim to improve performance without the overhead of multiple sampling steps. Our contributions include highlighting the limitations of existing controllable generation methods, demonstrating the use of pre-trained discriminative models for visual rewards, and proposing an efficient reward fine-tuning approach. We also introduce ControlNet++ as a comprehensive improvement over existing methods for controllable image generation. Section Summary In this section, we explore the challenges in achieving precise and controllable image generation in text-to-image models. We propose a novel approach inspired by CycleGon, utilizing pre-trained discriminative models to optimize cycle consistency loss for better controllability at the pixel level. By disrupting the consistency between input images and conditions and enabling single-step denoising, we demonstrate more efficient reward fine-tuning, leading to improved controllability in models like ControlNet++. Section. Controllable text-to-image diffusion models. In this section, we introduce additional modules like ControlNet and T2i adapter to guide image generation in pre-trained text-to-image models for conditional control. Recent studies have used prompt engineering and cross-attention constraints to improve regulated generation. Some methods focus on multi-condition or multimodal generation within a single model or instance-based controllable generation. However, there is still a need for a clear approach to enhance controllability under various conditional controls. Our ControlNet++ achieves this through cycle consistency unlike existing methods that learn controllability implicitly through model denoising processes. The reward model evaluates how well generative model results align with human expectations. This evaluation helps improve generative models for better and more controllable generation. The reward model is typically trained using reinforcement learning from human feedback in NLP tasks and has recently been extended to enhance image quality in text-to-image models. However, Assessing image quality is subjective and requires new datasets with human preferences and training of reward models. Instead of focusing on global image quality based on subjective human preferences, we aim for a more detailed and objective goal of controllability. It is also more cost-effective to obtain AI feedback compared to human feedback. We first provide background information on models and then discuss designing cycle consistency loss to enhance controllability in controllable models. We also address efficiency issues with a straightforward solution and propose an efficient reward strategy that uses single-step denoised images for consistency loss instead of sampling images from random noise. The models create a forward process chain by gradually adding noise to input data. The training loss is calculated based on this process. In controllable generation, with given image and text conditions, the training loss at each step is redefined. During inference, the final denoised image can be predicted from random noise using a step-by-step -step denoising process. 
Controllability is modeled as consistency between input conditions and generated images, quantified through reward models. By minimizing the consistency loss, we can optimize for more controllable generation across various conditional controls. The reward consistency loss is formulated based on the process of generating images from random noise through denoising steps. The total loss combines training and reward losses to guide the model in sampling at different time steps for more consistent images with input conditional controls, ultimately enhancing controllability. Section Summary In this section, we introduce controllable text to image diffusion models that aim to enhance controllability in image generation by incorporating trainable modules like ControlNet and T2i Adapter. By utilizing cycle consistency in ControlNet++, we achieve improved controllability compared to existing methods that rely on denoising processes. Additionally, we propose a reward controllability approach that quantifies the alignment between input conditions and generated images, enabling more regulated and fine-grained controllable generation in various conditional controls. Section. Efficient Reward Fine-Tuning. In this section, we introduce an efficient method for fine-tuning rewards. To achieve pixel space consistency loss, we need the final diffused image x underscore zero to calculate reward consistency from reward models. However, using modern models like stable diffusion, which require multiple steps to render a full image, is impractical due to the time-consuming samplings and increased GPU memory usage. For instance, using ControlNet with a batch size of 1 and FP16 mixed precision, the GPU memory needed for a single denoising step is about 6.8 GB. If we apply a 50-step inference, approximately 340 GB of memory is required, which is not feasible with current hardware. Techniques like low-rank adaptation and gradient checkpointing can reduce GPU memory consumption, but the efficiency is still impacted by the number of sampling steps needed to generate images. To address this, we propose an efficient one-step reward strategy. Instead of diffusing from random noise x underscore t to get the final image x underscore zero, we add noise to the training images x underscore zero to disrupt consistency between inputs x underscore t and their conditional controls c underscore v. By adding noise, we disturb the consistency and then perform a single step sampling on the disturbed image x underscore t to predict the original image x underscore zero. This predicted image is used for reward fine tuning, enhancing the model's ability to follow conditions during image generation. The total loss combines training loss and reward loss, where a time step threshold t underscore 3 determines if a noised image x underscore t should be used for reward fine tuning. Our efficient rewarding method allows us to train and reward the model using x underscore t without the time and GPU memory costs of multiple samplings, significantly improving efficiency during reward fine tuning. We freeze the pre-trained discriminative reward model and text-to-image model during reward fine-tuning, only updating the ControlNet module to maintain generative capabilities. For condition controls and datasets, we select specific datasets like ADE20K, CocoStuff, and Multigen20M to provide accurate conditional control data pairs for different tasks. These datasets help improve the precision of image label data pairs, enhancing the performance of our method. Additionally, we use MINIGPT4 to generate image captions for datasets without text captions. The image resolution for training and inference is set at 512 by 512 for all datasets and methods. Section Summary In this section, we propose an efficient reward fine-tuning strategy to address the challenges of high GPU memory usage and time-consuming sampling steps in modern models like stable diffusion. By introducing noise to training images instead of diffusing from random noise, we disrupt consistency and enhance reward fine-tuning efficiency. This approach allows for effective training and rewarding of models without the need for extensive sampling, significantly improving efficiency during the reward fine-tuning stage. Section. Evaluation and Metrics. In this section, we trained ControlNet++ on the training set of each dataset and then tested all methods on the validation dataset. 
we made sure to evaluate all experiments under a 512 by 512 resolution for fair comparison. To assess controllability, we measured how similar the input conditions were to the conditions extracted from the generated images of models. For semantic segmentation, we used MIOU as an evaluation metric, while for depth map controls, we used RMSE. For the edge task, we employed F1 score for hard edges and SSIM metric for soft edges conditional controls. Our evaluation mainly focused on T2I adapter, ControlNet version 1.1, GLIGEN, UniControlNet, and UniControl as they are leading methods in controllable text to image models. To ensure fairness, all methods use the same image conditions and text prompts. We used the same settings for all methods without changing any configurations. We also included results for ControlNet SDXL and T2I Adapter SDXL. ControlNet SDXL is not an officially released model like ControlNet. When comparing ControlNet++ with other methods, we found that existing methods struggle with precise controlled generation. ControlNet++ outperformed previous works in terms of controllability across various conditional controls. The backbone of the text-to-image model did not significantly affect its controllability. In terms of image quality, ControlNet++ generally showed superior performance compared to existing methods, as indicated by the FID values. This suggests that our approach improved controllability without compromising image quality. Visual comparisons further supported these findings. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate ControlNet++ by training it on the training set of each dataset and testing it on the validation set, ensuring a fair comparison at a resolution of 512 by 512. Controllability is assessed by comparing input conditions with extracted conditions from generated images, using metrics like MIOU, RMSE, and F1 score for different tasks. Our ControlNet++ surpasses existing methods in controllability, showing significant improvements in tasks like depth map generation, without compromising image quality, as demonstrated by superior FID values in various conditional generation tasks. Section. Comparison of clip score with state-of-the-art methods. In this section, we aim to enhance the controllability of models by using image-based conditions with our ControlNet++. We evaluated various methods using clip score metrics across different datasets to measure the similarity between generated images and input text. Our ControlNet++ showed comparable or superior clip score outcomes on several datasets compared to existing approaches indicating that our method improves conditional controllability while maintaining the text-to-image generation proficiency of the original model. To validate our controllability improvements, we created a new dataset by combining generated images with real human annotated labels. By training discriminative models on this dataset, we observed that the quality of the dataset improved with our controllable model's generated images, leading to a more powerful discriminative model. Our experiments on the ADE20K dataset using DeepLab V3 with MobileNet V2 backbone showed that our segmentation model trained on our images outperformed the baseline results by 1.19 MIOU, a significant improvement in segmentation tasks. We found that maintaining the original training process and using both pixel-level consistency loss and training loss are crucial for preserving image quality and controllability. Additionally, we explored the impact of different text prompts on image generation performance, showing that our ControlNet++ can generate accurate images under various text prompt scenarios compared to ControlNet. Furthermore, we investigated the effectiveness of different reward models on controllability. Our results demonstrated that using a more powerful reward model leads to better controllability for controllable models.